Hello, some viewers. How are you all? Welcome back to guys. In this video, we are going to discuss how to resolve this error. So, I'm, what I'm doing here, I'm trying to run this test case. So, if I'm running this test case, what is happening in the sense? It is trying to launch the browser, but it is not getting to. It is not understanding what to launch, and why it is happening. We'll see here. Let it run. Now you see it will start the Chrome driver. So then the execution, it has launched the Chrome driver again. Okay, it has started three times. You can see the it is failed. Why it is failed? We we just see the latest version here. What is trying to launch the Chrome driver which it wants to launch is one one three. But what is the version which we have is one one five. So. Even though in my web drive at io.config.js, I have given this services, it is it should directly launch. But why it is not launching, we'll see now. So let me share the browser. So we have something called Chrome service. So in the services, what we have to do, just we'll copy this and we'll just add it in the entire services section. So control C, control V. And after this, we have to add one more thing. So we have to also add Chrome driver custom path. So let me share the Chrome driver custom path there. So let me share the browser screen again. So you see this now. So we have to go down and we have to add the directory. So this Chrome driver custom path. You copy this and go to the uh, Visual Studio code, paste it here. And here you add the colon. Uh, here you have to add the entire path we have to download so let us download the chrome driver path so for that you have to go here guys so this is the place you have to go chrome driver .chromium.org. you have to click here the chrome for testing available dashboard it will ask you this one this is the beta version this is the dev version though we have to download the stable version and we have to see for which you have downloaded since mine is a Windows version, so we have to copy this one. So now it should have downloaded the Windows Chrome driver. So now what I'll do, I will unzip this. Let me share the screen. So let the Visual Studio open. So here you can see I would have added the Chrome driver. So here the Chrome driver.exe is there, right? I have added that. What I'll do here, I'll just add Chrome driver driver dot exe. Okay, so stating that it is there in the so Chrome driver exe is there. Okay, so now let me run this. So hopefully it should work now. You can see it has launched the browser, so the test has passed. So this is the way you have to do. Hope you have liked the video, guys. If you like the video, please click on like. If you're new here, please click on subscribe. Till then, guys, take care. Have a great day. Bye bye.